G'day, I'm ET and welcome to the show. This week I'm up in the Northern Territory and I'm fishing the mighty Daly River. And coming up, there's mighty action by the boatload. From thumping top-end monsters... Beautiful, look at that. Woo! ..to Sydney Harbour Kingies. There we go. Probably next size up. With some wild weather along the way... It went bum, I'd reckon. And did I say top-end oh, monsters? No. <laughs> 3104. <laughs> The Daly River is a wild place to be in the runoff season. But my fishing mate Pete knows these waters like the seasoned local fish how he is. And he's taking me to what he reckons is a surefire redfin hotspot. And he's right, from the first cast. Another. Oh, around the rope. Oh, anchor rope. Ah. Oh. Very annoying. But the second cast is just as good. Yep, you got him. Oh, nice fish. He's here, eh? You got him? It's all starting to happen. Boys up the back are hooked up. Pete's hooked up down the back here. Thready heaven. Thready. And they run like bullets. Watch that anchor rope this time. Sort of know where he is, but I don't want to go guessing. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Woo! That is impressive, champion. That's a great threaty. Look at that big sucker. That is an absolute horse. And that is incredible. Well, better put him down. This is a fantastic eating fish, probably better than the barra, isn't it, really? Pete's biggest ever threadfin salmon. What a thumping start. There he goes. See you, buddy. Big yellow tail, man. Woo. You're on fire. That's fantastic. But then, not so fantastic as the action all went off the boil. And Pete and I agreed that the time and tide were right to leave the ocean estuaries behind and push out to broader waters along this rocky slice of open coastline. Yon? Yep, nice one. Blue salmon. Good stuff. Nice fish. Another photo opportunity for yet another hard fighting top end species. And a great view of its fighting environment thanks to some slick work from our Camzilla Action camera drone. Oh, you got one, did you? Another Northern Territory species. That's four different species you've got so far, isn't it? Four different species. Crab's just fallen back into the water. Good on you, Pete. Four different species from our first two spots. Another Territory fish. If Pete keeps collecting species like this, we'll have to change his name to Noah. Sensational. That's a nice jack. Bring him on board. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, Pete, you are on fire, mate. That's species number five. Oh, there we go. Pete's little mangrove jacks. There we go. Beautiful colour. A lot uh, more maroon as they get bigger. Well done, Pete. Oh, yep. And yeah, I'm also getting in on the act. Beautiful pink colour. Aha, little mangrove jack. Come on, buddy. Over the side. All right, let's have a look at this little little fella. Wow, it was only just in. And that was on one of these lovely little classic lures. Look at that little bloke. Tiny little classic. And in and around all these rocks, these classics this size uh, are just perfect because nice small bait fish, the jacks come scooting out underneath their rocky cave. They do almost a full circle, so as you're bringing it along, they actually come out here and hit it going back in. So they jam you straight back into the rocks. They're a real tough fighter and a real dirty player. But um, this little bloke, we'll put him back in. Oh, just some big beady eyes. Look at that, beautiful fish. Right on, mate. Does it feel like a rock cod? I've caught enough, but I can't tell. Oh, 
Oh no, oh. another species. Oh, there you go. Javelin, is it? Yep. Amazing. The boy is on fire. Hey? You're kidding. It's fantastic. Here we go. Look at that. Well, they also call them grunter, do they? Or yeah. Grunter. Wow. Another one notched up. This is number seven. Seven different species for Pete today. But a run like that's too good to last. And suddenly it seems Noah could be a more appropriate name than we thought. And there's a massive storm brewing. We can sort of see it building up over the land through the day. And uh, up here at this time of year, huge humidity. So the humidity's up. All the water's coming out of the ground and heading straight up into these massive big clouds. It's looking pretty uh, ominous out there that we're going to get a, a bit of a wet bum, I'd reckon, in the next half hour or so. The other side of Australia, and I'm still in crook weather. Well, it's a bit of an overcast morning, but I'm out here at Mid Middle Harbour at the moment on beautiful Sydney Harbour and the ferries are cruising by. I'm on the Quintrex 570, it's the, the cruise about, and it's one of my favourite boats. It's absolutely perfect all-round boat for family and fishing. And right at the minute, I'm drifting in uh, 11 metres of water, so quite deep. The beautiful Garmin is telling me that there's a bit of bait down there at the minute. And we've got the beautiful 135HO Evinrude motor. It's an absolute cracker. It might seem a good idea to fire up the Evinrude and scoot home, away from these darkening clouds and rain. But I reckon the fishing will make it worthwhile to hang in right here where I am. And my mates at Fish About Tours have the same idea. Ah, oh, nice little kingfish. We're very fortunate, the boys from Fish About Tours, Craig McGill, one of the first guys I ever, ever fished with. Um, there we go, beautiful little Sydney Harbour Kingfish. And the fight to bring him to the boat was well worth the minor discomfort of putting on the wet weather gear. Plus when the rain passes, I'm fishing against a background you wouldn't miss out on for quids. Well, make that squid. He's rigging up the squid head, freshly caught squid. He goes in with two hooks, nice gamma katsu hooks, super sharp, can't get any fresher. So a bit of lead, down just onto a nice swivel. 55 pound trace, nice and sturdy stuff. And a beautiful little Revolution vertical jig rod. Now these things are fantastic. This whole series I've been using these. And of course matched up with nothing better than the, uh, the Stella, the 6000 Stella. I've got 50 pound braid on it. Gonna drop it all the way to the bottom and then wind it up just a fraction and just leave it there. I've got another rod set up with very light weight on it and I'm going to cast that in there and just work a squid strip all the way back to the boat. All right, so the idea, just let it hit the bottom. It's just about there. Okay, click it over, wind it up a bit because kingfish travel in all depths of water from right down the bottom all the way through the water column right up to the surface. You can often catch them on poppers. I'm going to have my drag set reasonably tight because I don't want him roaring back into there in a hurry. Slide him in the rod holder. And that one there is just a, a sit and go or wait and go anyway. And, oh, and I don't think we have long to wait, about that long. And we've just got to make sure those, those hooks set. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's what a kingfish does. Look at that. Now, there's a whole pack of rats down here, which are only undersized or just legal fish. And a few brutes around there as well. So you just never know what you're going to catch. And there he is. Not a big fish, but a feisty fella. All right, over the side, and there's your disco dancing kingfish. <laughs> Imagine catching one of these four or five times as big. That's a cracking fish. All right, see you later, buddy. Look at him go. Ah, fantastic stuff.
I'm on my favourite stealth machine, the Hobie Mirage Pro Angler 14. It's fast, agile and a stable platform for fishing and rigging. It's doing a double uni knot to join the braid and the uh, fluorocarbon. And it's always good to put a trace on the end. And there's the nice length of fluorocarbon on the end. I'm attaching to that a little soft plastic. That should work a treat. Not a tailor. Oh, what have we got there? Oh, it might be a tailor. Actually, I might have foul hooked him. Oh, no, it's a little trevally. Beautiful. And that's why I felt he was a flathead. He was on his side, just cruising around like that. Come here, buddy. There we go. They're a beautiful fish, the trevally. And uh, these ones grow about four or five times as big, probably about that long. They always put up a good fight and a very powerful fish. I'll let him go. See you later, bud. Away he goes. Good stuff. And back on Sydney Harbour, safety on the water is the most important thing. And my good mates at Nautilus Marine are always on my back. Make sure you tell them some safety tips. Well, probably the number one safety tip when you're out on Sydney Harbour is that you need quality batteries. When I turn the big Evan Root on, I want to make sure she's going first time every time. Because, as you can see in the background, loads of boat traffic. Big ferries, there's cruisers, charter boats, so many different types of boats on the water. You can never be in doubt when you switch your motor on or your marine electronics or my big Ming coder up the front. Century batteries power everything on this boat. And it wouldn't be an Aussie fishing trip without an esky. Coleman have been keeping my drinks and catches cool for years and they're handy in other ways too. Well, the head of the squid's already caught a fish. Next up, I'm just gonna use the gut. I'll just lean this back a little bit and what they've got in there is this cartilage and I'll just peel that straight off with the gut as well. There we go, you can see it just starting to come off. Let's see how long this lasts. So the top hook just sliding in, second hook tucks in as well. Over she goes, I better wash my hands. Here we go. Okay, this is the gut all the way to the bottom. Often people throw the gut away. But uh, this is a pretty handy bait. Drop it right down. So I said I'm fishing in 20 metres of water. And that's about good enough. All right, super hard drag. Put him in the holder. I'm not even gonna touch him. I'll just keep an eye on him. A little bit nervous at the moment. Oh, there it is. Have a look at the rod tip. Whoa! He's on now. He is on. Oh, gotta get him out of the holder. There we go. Oh yeah. All right. Make sure you've got the right tackle to be able to stop fish that are really going to pull hard. And here we go. Another one similar size, I reckon. Not too bad. And a quick lift over the top into the boat. But wow, two baits, two fish. That's how good the fishing can be when you're working around even a major capital city like Sydney. You put up a good fight, beautiful fish. I'll keep going with the bait. I really, gosh, I'll be able to cut this squid up. Looks a bit messy down there. I've used the gut, I've used the head. Now what I've got to do is just slice down the middle here. I'm gonna cut a nice big thin strip. And that will be my next bait. Top one, just snick it in. Pull the Gamma Katsu through. And the other one as well, slide him down. I could have put him in first, doesn't matter so much. It'll just sit like that. Two hooks. How long? 30 seconds? Right, three out. Oh, three out of three. Here we go. <laughs> now, if there was reef underneath us here, he'd probably have already made it. And that's what often happens when the big kingfish strike. They go straight into the reef or straight around the chain over there and 
you know, you've got next to no hope of landing them. Oh, oh, I'm going to like the boat. There he is. They're all around the same model size. All over the top. We'll get this fish back in the water. Thanks very much, mate. Hey, they are tough. Woo! See you, mate. Wooshka. All right, wow. Three drops, three fish. Definitely gonna drop to lighter gear. This time, this one here is the uh, 6,000 bait runner. Now, you can use this in bait runner mode, but I won't be. And the beautiful Therese rod, Shimano, it's a six to 10 kilo. The bait runner system is this button at the back. And what that means is, if I was to switch it back like that, then the drag system here, you can see how light it is. Look, look how easy the line pulls off. So the fish could actually run away and not even feel any weight at all until I turn the reel, which engages the normal mechanism. And as you can see, the drag's a lot harder now. A really cool system. It was invented by my good mate, unfortunately, who passed away, John Dunphy. He was one of my closest friends. And uh, yeah, really, really missed the dump. He was the boss of Shimano for many, many years. And wow, I still can't believe he's gone. But anyway, this is a tribute to Dump. I'll catch a few fish for you today, Dump. I know you'll be watching. Oh, oh I thought it will it get to the top. <laughs> I'm going, it's going to get to the top. No, and he didn't get to the top. Oh. Whoa, does not want to give in. It's really nice to fight a fish, especially a kingfish on, on this sort of caliber gear. Even though it can handle it nice and easy, it's, uh, it's a longer rod, it's a lighter rod. Yeah, come on, let's have a look at you. There we go. That's the little bloke, but probably next size up from, from what we've been catching. He looks good in the water, doesn't he? Fantastic, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, look at that. Sun on him, perfect. Nice fish. We'll leave him in the water. Let's see if we can just turn that hook right round. Oh, got wet from the troubles. Ah, good stuff. It's my last morning on the Northern Territory's Daly River and my local mate Pete and I are travelling down to the estuary mouth for the final time. First cast and we're hoping for a big finish to my trip. Yeah, baby. Woo! This is a good fish. Come on, Pete, show us your stuff. It's keeping his head down again, another. No? Oh, nice fish! I ate it, alright. I ate it! Look at that for a fish. And that is magnificent. Alright. Cracking fish, I tell you what, it's way beyond the 80s. <laughs> wow, and that's the lure that's done the damage. Look at that. It's called a drop bear, a little drop bear. Shimano squidgy. Right through to there. Oh, a bit low light, mate, but that's the measure right to there. We're talking 103, 104. <laughs> <laughs> Meter four, first fish, probably what? Second cast? Second cast. Second cast, 104. <laughs> Magnificent. Look at the shoulders on it. Beautiful yellow fins. It's an absolute cracker. Hey? Oh, mate, that's fantastic. Good stuff. What a fish. Fantastic. Yep, yeah, give her a good swim. You'll need to give her a good swim for a bit. And that's what it's all about, eh, up here in the Territory. Yep, there she goes. Woo! How good's that, eh? 
you go. Good stuff, Pete. Well done, boys. What do you reckon, mate? I'm happy with that. <laughs> Fantastic. Pete's second PB of the trip. Who wouldn't be happy? Well, I hope you enjoyed my fishing video. If you did, make sure you like it and comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video.